All right, we are almost done with our game geometry UVs and the setup so that we can begin painting these in the next course. We have two left, so the wood and the padding. And so let's do the wood in this lesson. So again, same thing, we wanna create UVs for each of the individual pieces and then lay them out together. And we want all the wood pieces to go together. So right now, here is our wood piece. Let's go ahead and just do an auto map. Here's the outer part. Can go in and grab all of the inner bits and stitch those in. Same thing here. And unfold. Go ahead and sew those open areas. All right, now I do want to cut it down the middle. So let's actually use that as our separation. So I'll separate everything based on that. And then I'll just come in and do the same thing that I just did on the other side. Starting to get some of those pieces in there. And you can see how eventually you get closer to what you want. Grab the pieces that we split. And I'm just going to continue around stitching these together. Eventually, we'll make it around to the other side. I accidentally got the other side there. And let's go ahead and sew that. And then we still have a few pieces here that we need to add. This is going to go, now let's go down here, start to fill in these gaps. So something like that. You can tell that these are open. We need to close those. So you start to end up with something that looks like an arrow. And then we can decide where to cut this. So let me actually isolate this piece. And knowing that we actually have padding covering this, I think what I'm actually going to do is go and select the faces on both sides. So on the interior, select that loop. That's completely covered by padding. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Let's select this one. Let's select from here over to here. Delete that. And that'll give us less polygons that we have to worry about. I'm going to go in and keep stitching these together. Come in here, stitch all this together.
sometimes the stray pieces will be on other parts of your geometry and you can just pop that in there and cut it off and stick it right up where you want it. And you can see the unfold, since we deleted those polygons, it doesn't like, it's going to try to spread them out. And so what we can do is simply just go ahead and cut those pieces off and have them be their own piece. So once you have the pieces created, we can grab those and kind of move them off to the side. Also delete the history. And let's start to collect some of the other wood pieces. So I'm going to turn off our isolate. The belt. Let's go ahead and do an auto map. We'll take the outside of the belt. Start to connect that together. That'll start to give us the one side of it. And just like everything else, I'm going to cut it in the center. And so I'll grab the other side on the front. Start stitching that together. Get our two sides. And that I think is probably maybe a little bit too far. Let's see where that line is right there. Yeah, so I'm going to grab basically this line, cut it, and then this is going to attach to the other piece. Now, once we've got those two pieces, we're golden because we can just we can just attach from both sides. So I'll come in here, attach like that. Unfolding it will fix that. We know we want to have that edge as the seam. And so we can come over on this side, do the same thing. And now it's just a matter of time. And cutting the right seams. Go ahead and stitch that. And I'm just going to come in here. I really should have done this to begin with. I'm going to cut it from in the viewport. That'll cut it all the way through. Okay, so now we can come in here and sew those together. Sew these together. Let's unfold. And unfold. And same thing up here. And let's go out of wireframe here. 
And it looks like we have a, a little section here. Go ahead and just unfold that on the inside. Let's go ahead and sew these together. If you don't have an even line, you can cut it on one side and move it over to the other side. It looks like this might just be some extra geometry. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And that. And then these two, these will go on the ends. And let's unfold and unfold. Go ahead and get the belt done. And now we have the hip piece and the back piece. So let's start on those in the next clip.